everyone. Lucy here from Four City Stitching. I hope everyone had a good week. It is very warm here already uh, this morning and it's only 10.20. I did get a short run in this morning so that is done and dusted and yeah not a lot planned for today but we do have reservations um, for dinner at uh, um, Port Stanley Beach, so, um, sorry, Yoshi is super loud today, and yeah, that is, I'm downstairs with the door closed, so, he's very squawky, um, yeah, nothing too exciting, this week to report, I don't think so. Let's just get in on it. Or get in on it. Get on with it, is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> All right. Yoshi. So there was a piece that I worked on last week that I forgot to show, which is Bella Luna by Luhu Stitches. Uh, it's going to be hard to show the photo, so I'll just show you my whip. So that's how that's looking. On a couple pieces from this punch needle and from the stitcher magazine. This is I don't know what month. Spring 2020. <laughs> um, it's this one right here. I worked on Hedgehog House by Lindy Stitches. So not too much left to do on that. You're gonna see a theme here, a lot of very close to finishes. And then um, Spring Too Low, Spice Stitches with the Housewives. Just need to finish those chickens down there. Which was a free pattern by Brenda Gervais a couple years ago, but that's how that one's looking. Again, I can't show you the pattern because it's just the chart. We don't have the chart available for this one either. Boy, this is very exciting for you all, I'm sure. <clears throat> Not being able to see these finished, what the finished products supposed to look like. But Tall Treats by the Blue Flower. And this was in the Jingle Ball Ornament book. First year. I just have the pattern printed. Right. It was a very stitching with the housewives heavy week because I had a lot of it. A lot of the two size pieces on my 2020 whip go board. Our little ones out. 
Oh, she has to settle down, it seems. Um, so yeah, a lot of stitching with the housewives here. Um, I got a lot of progress on Calvin and Clyde. So that's how that's looking there. So, peep. Okay, not a whole lot left on that one either. Just need to add a couple more chicks here, some flowers. Forgetting I put this one in a big project bag. It can be a little overkill. Um, this sunflower by Suchi Princess. I'm not doing the top part. From Fat Quarter Shop a little while ago. I am working at Frogging at this border because I decided I'm not going to do the border. I added in these flowers down here. And this was a free, free pattern during COVID. That's how she's looking. Stitch on something that is black and white. You all know what that one looks like. Yeah, that's how my penguins are looking. And then last 
last night we had our Stitchy Book Club meet up via Zoom that Katie, the novel stitcher, um, hosted for um, a single thread. So we had our discussion last night. Um, thank you again, Katie, for hosting. I'm excited to see what the next book will be. So I worked on my my piece that I had chosen for the book club, Mice in the Sewing Room. And that's how it's looking here so far. The reason why I kind of abandoned the gold thread is if I do, I'm probably going to have another piece as my purse piece for lunches, but I thought if I did want to continue with this as a purse piece, the gold thread, the, the it's gold leaf is what the color is, um, is my list stitching of the ruler down here. So that's why I kind of abandoned that over there. Um, but I was working on that mouse a little bit. So, alas, that piece has been finished during the two-month period of the book club for this particular read. But, um, I'd probably like to pick a new piece, um, depending on what the next book is. Um, so I'll decide that closer to that time, obviously. Um, but I guess I could just keep working on that. that. I guess that would be the most logical and responsible thing to do, but probably not. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think that is everything for today. I am getting close to finishing the second leg for the Whip Warriors road trip. Um, so the goal is it's a long weekend here. So tomorrow, uh, the goal is to get that finished, that leg finished this weekend, which might be a stretch, but I'm going to try. And um, yeah, get onto that leg three. So I'm not so far behind, <clears throat> but it's okay. My whips are getting a lot of progress. So um, it's been helping a lot with that. So doesn't really matter if there's no winning in, in the game. It's just, just for fun. All right. Well, I hope everyone has a good rest of the weekend and a good week. See you next week.